Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about AWS Resource Explorer, how we are going to utilize it and what are the benefits and all. So it is quite a useful tool for the beginners, those who have started their cloud journey. So basically what happens like uh, whenever we start some projects and uh, like we create some projects and all in the back ends, like various other services are getting activated and all, and we don't take care of it. And in the end of the day, we get a huge bill for that. So we need to make sure like whatever we are spinning, once we have finished the project or once we have finished uh, utilizing those resources, we clean it as we finish it up, if it is no more being utilized. So normally another scenario can be like, you know what happened, like we are like utilizing one of the regions and we keep on spinning in certain other regions also. We like those uh, get out of our site and at the end of the month, we get built for that. So AWS Resource Expo will be a handy tool. So the only motive for us would be like uh, clean as you go. Once you finish it, we can clean our cloud account in order to avoid any billing. So this is a quick and easy like way we can provision, we can use the things, and at the end, we can clean it up. So basically, uh, it will take care of your supplementary resources that are being automatically created. So like, suppose uh, some S3 buckets getting created, uh, some uh, roles getting created, or some uh, like so app dynamic, like something, uh, your Lambda functions getting created, or any kind of thing, like any kind of resources that is being supplementary created. So those things will be tracked by using this AWS Resource Explorer. So, we can like uh, identify utilizing this, what are our unused resources. So AWS Resource Explorer, like basically it makes it easy to search resources in our complete AWS account. So it, it supports various resource types like S3, DynamoDB, and various other resources. So we can discover in each and every region. So it, it also works across multiple AWS region available to your account. So make it easier to overview where it is being located. So the good thing about it, it uh, that AWS doesn't charge anything for this usage. So once we have, uh, once we have to set up in the beginning, we have to turn it on and then it start uh, indexing all your resources and then we can see all the lists. So in this today's video, I'll show you how we can set up and how we can find all the resources. And we will try to create our own custom view that will help us to identify our resources. So you can see over here, a flow diagram over here, resource explorer, easily search and discover your resources, choose your region, which you like you're filtering your regions if you want, and you can create a custom views and assign certain other users the permissions to view that particular view only. And we can search or uh, the text filters and all, and we can take action in order to basically remove or delete that particular resource. So let's jump onto the console, AWS console. There we will see we have to look for the AWS Resource Explorer, and then we can set it up. So you can see, another thing you can see, it is under global. So it's independent of any region. And uh, you can see to offer no additional charge. So there is no set of fees or upfront any commitments kind of thing. It's not there. So we will go to the Turn On Resource Explorer over here. You can see quick setup. So it will visibility to all the resources within this account. So there is advanced setup is also there. I'm not going to advanced setup. So we can choose the region if we want, or we can just, for all regions, we can choose it by default. So if you want to specify something, you can specify over here. Then just I'll click on this, turn on. You could try with this other options or quick setup and aggregate index region or that one setup and all. You can go ahead with that. But in this video, I'm just going ahead with the normal one and click turn on. Okay, I need to choose region to, okay. 
So this this is basically uh, the region where you are going to uh, like keep this indexing of all the resources basically. So basically, the all the results where you want to keep it. So we can move it anywhere wherever you want. So I'm just choosing over here Asia Pacific Mumbai. So basically, this region is defining the like the aggregated index for all the regions for all the accounts to keep it in this. So I'm just clicking on Turn on Resource Explorer. So you can see it start fetching all the details. So in this account, I'm having very few resources being spinned up. But if I go to my other account, there are lots of resources out there, lots of buckets and all. Okay, now you can click um, on this Proceed to Resource Search. So you can see there is one SQS, Q is there that I have. So I have just click on this all resources. It's all resources over here. So I don't have any uh, EC2 instance or S2, S3 bucket. So just one with this account. And then if you want to change your views or you want to create a new view. So I'm just having one, but if you run in your account, if you have run some EC2 instances, or if you're having certain S3 buckets and all, you can have a look into it. So I'll just quickly switch on to my another account, then I can show you like what exactly I was selling. So you can see over here, this is my another account in which I have already enabled the resource explorer. So you can, if you go to this one, you can see over here, it's giving me option to create index because I've already set up the aggregator for this in the US region. So you can see once I click create view, so this is how you can create your own view. And then you can, this account, you can see this is my aggregator index is in this region already there. So include all resources, tags and all, and then create view. So once we click on this, explore resources, and you can see the list of all the resources that I have in this account. It will take some time. You can see I have a chatbot, then I have some Cloud9 service running up, uh, then there's a group, security group, there are certain logs are there, I have role, then again, security group. I have some elastic cache. I have some DHCP options over here, EC2 network, access control list is there. Then something is there in the code commit in the repo. So there's basically a repo over there. So there are certain resources for which I'm not being charged, but uh, still it's good to clean up as you go. So we, we should clean up all those things that are unwanted, that we don't need it. So it will like, don't make your account messy with unwanted things. So you can see there's some memory TV user is being created. So there's certain VPC also running up in the Singapore region. So even, I, I don't know, I, even I have forgotten about this, maybe, you know, certain features, are there certain uh, services or AWS or some region specific that you can run in this region only. So maybe I created in that, then I forward, then memory cache is there, Redis is there. So these are, I can delete if I want it later on. Then we can also have something like a resource type. You can see over here. There are certain Athena is also there. AWS Athena, if you remember, I had some uh, video in the cloud formation is also there. So lots of things are there. And you can also go ahead by application wise. You can also select the region if you want. So lots of filters are also there. So you can, you can see, uh, export all columns if you want. You can just, let me check for S3. So service is equal to S3, you can see it will start showing. So this is like a query filter, you can have it from the view. So you can see over here, we have these are the S3 buckets that I'm having. So you can see lots of buckets are there. 
So basically, when I was using with the AI, text extract, lambda, then we have this um, CI CD, then we have the cloud front also. There is some Elastic Beanstalk also there. So there is AWS Guru is also there. So Notify, Shell, that's my website over here. So you can also filter the view like this. So basically, once the aggregator index is being set up, you can utilize this in order to view all. So you can see one, two, three, four. So around 34 resources are there that I have created over here. And even I'm not aware of certain of them. So this means I may need to also clean up this. So you can see there are lots of uh, security groups are being created, even though the instance has been deleted, but still the security groups remains there. So we need to, uh, there is some gateways also there, internet gateway. Then there is a chat box demo. So these are basically the resources. So in my other account, there is not much, but you can see over here, there is thousand plus resources that I have over here. So we can have create view over here. Then later on, you know, like we can have a resource access manager, like to whom the users, you can create a user to which you can assign, okay, they can view, uh, they cannot take any action or something. So if you see over here, if I just go to the explore resource is over here, Mm, you can just if I type over S three, so you can define the service type. Let's say if I want to delete something, let's say let's delete. You can take some action over here. You can get the details over here, and you can go to the view in S three console. If that user is having that permissions and all, they can delete it, or you just want to be, just give a read only access, they can see the resources, they can notify you. And I think something cannot be found in this region. The bucket, okay, so the region is different. So it is switching on because the aggregator was in some different region, and this one is bucket is in different region. So it's loading the object, so nothing is there. So you can just go ahead. Uh, we need to go back here buckets you can select like this and you can delete i hope it is empty otherwise i need to empty it first then only i can delete it so this is the easiest way you can track your resources you can see how many resources i have been spinning for a long while from a while so but uh, i didn't notice all those things so but this resource explorer is uh, quite helpful in order to know what are the resources we have spent and in which account and what are the types. We can filter it. We can create multiple views if you want. Like you can have different categories, storage, um, uh, instance, or some security groups in different different categories, database, backends, whatever you want. You can create different different views. You can create custom views. You can also have views related to uh, certain regions you can have, you can uh, have a filter for certain resources, uh, resource type you can have. So these all we can include in the view. So if you have multiple resources being spun up, it will take some time in order to uh, showcase you all the details about your particular resources that you have spent in the past. So it may take some minutes to hours to view that particular resources, depending upon the region, depending upon the resources that you have spent. So I hope uh, you get an idea like how we can utilize this resource explorer. This is quite handy for the beginners. Those uh, at the end of the month, they face with like a huge bills at the end of them, at the end of the month in their AWS accounts. So it will help you to clean up also at the same time, as well as to know which resources they are uh, utilizing and they can also optimize their cost accordingly. So we can keep on regularly scanning uh, do a scan on our resources and we can like uh, save some cost, prevent some billing surprises and we can keep our cloud account nice and tidy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, subscribe and share to my channel. Thanks for watching.